Good morning, guys. Me, Alex Q, here. One week out. Hope you guys are ready for this one. So it is 5:30 a.m. Um, I just took a shower, as you guys can probably tell. Um, gonna go make some breakfast. Put my meals all together. It's 5:30, and I'm about to start my 12-hour shift. Um, I'll explain a little bit of that later, word or afterward. I can't talk right now, guys. I'm pretty depleted, but I'm gonna show you guys my breakfast and my meals. I'm reaching out for the easy high. Please fortify this strength of mine. My weakness comes and goes. My weakness comes and goes. Okay guys, we got here the oats with dark chocolate chips and peanut butter and my egg white pancake with some salt <laughs> and my coffee. So it's a little messy here. I'm gonna be eating that, still gotta do my hair. But it's about 6.01 right now, I'm gonna eat all that. What else do I gotta do? Oh, you guys saw my meals. Yeah, so I seasoned that with cayenne pepper for the chicken and some vegetable seasoning for the vegetables. Off to our practicum site. 12 hour shift guys, let's get it. Whoa, sorry guys, today I thought I wasn't even vlogging, I didn't even realize I was. Watching some Christian Guzman and Buff Bunny here. Eating my meal, just got home actually. I went to the gym. Did back and biceps. Sorry, my lips are a little red. I'm eating with some cayenne pepper, Cajun spice, and some vegetable spice. Lots of spices I've been having on this prep. This is my little shake. Oh, actually, I actually got two of them. Yeah, it's quite a bit. But that shake involves one banana, almond milk, about 500 milliliters, uh, <clears throat> a protein shake, not protein shake, sorry. One scoop of protein, which is about 127 calories, and peanut butter, small scoop, so about 80 to 90 calories, and ice. That's it? Yeah, that's it. And that's everything for the shake. Got my meal, gonna have my shake, drink about a liter of water. So I'll get back to you guys on my next meal. Other than that, we are seven days out, guys. Seven days. Ooh, it's coming in too soon. Seven days. The creatine size product and then a scoop of the BCA. I am still taking creatine five grams. Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick talk. So I've been working quite a bit. I'm working two jobs. Um, you can even say a third one. So I'm doing my practicum, this is for schooling, every Tuesday and Thursday, working at most 12 hours, the least 10 hours. So 10 to 12 hour shifts every Tuesday, Thursday. Um, I'm working my personal training job, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, usually consisting of the morning from, usually I start at seven, sometimes it's 6 a.m. Um, and that would go to about 9 to 10 a.m. And then I have supervision. Um, that's my second job. And that would just be for an hour every day at lunchtime. And then I go straight back to work. Before I work, though, I would have to do my workout. So, and then I would work for another four hours every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then on top of all that, <clears throat> sorry, I'm, I sound like I'm complaining. But I just want to explain to you guys what I've been doing, what I had to go through during this prep. I mean, this is 
seven days out. Uh, I've been working practically every single day, two jobs, trying to upload videos, um, three, well, practicum as well, going to school, making meals, you know, getting morning cardio, fasted cardio in. So let's say if I work at 6.30, I'm not waking up at 6.30, I'm waking up at 5.30, I'm making my meals, making my breakfast, um, if I'm not, if I'm doing fasted cardio that morning, I am going to the gym before I train my clients and I would do my fasted cardio, then train clients for three hours before I even get to eat my breakfast so I kind of have to snack on something or have some, you know, something. Um, so there's a lot of factors and uh, what I'm trying to say from this guys is <clears throat> we're all going to be going through something. Um, whether it is you're working a full-time job or two jobs or three jobs or going to school, doing it full-time or have tests, exams, things you have to study for, uh, things you have to do, family things, right? So there's a lot that's always going to be on the table and a lot that's going to be affected during anything you do in life, whether it's a prep, um, whether it's a competition, whether it's not even a competition, just kind of doing something. There's always going to be something out there that you're just going to want to either stop what you're doing and trying to focus on that or it's going to affect you towards that competition or towards whatever it is you're doing. Now, I'm going to say this, if you are determined and if you are well um, disciplined, you will not let that stop you. And at the same time, you know, you cannot just be disciplined. You got to kind of build that. Um, it's the mindset, it's how determined you are and how much it means to you. Um, this prep to me meant and means the world. I mean, this is, I said this about my last competition, but this is the biggest competition and um, nothing's going to stop me. If I have to battle every single day, if I have to wake up at 5.30 a.m., do my cardio, make my meals, eat breakfast at 5.30, 5.30 a.m. and then I got to go straight to work, Gotta then I got to eat my breakfast go to work again, work out, go to work again, sleep, repeat, check on school, make sure I'm getting all my assignments in. If I have to do that, if I have to go through that suffering, I will do it all over again. I, 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 I wouldn't have gone to this point. I wouldn't have gone to seven days out of this show if I didn't go through all that. So I just want to let you guys know that despite all the, all the suffering you're going to go through, there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel. So take it one day at a time. <clears throat> you might have to suffer a little bit, but sometimes that suffering will lead to a massive, or it might not lead to any success, but it will teach you. It will teach you what you're capable of doing and how far you can push yourself. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. Um, I hope I didn't go off too much. Go off, yeah. Go off topic too much. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, I didn't show you guys too much of my dates, getting crazy, time's ticking guys. Hopefully I can show more on the weekend, but I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and get Aesthetic Bra.